Burnout. It's a popular buzzword, but what exactly is it? And could you be heading there? Watch on to find out. Ooh. Hi, I'm Charlie Inman from the MindShine app. So far, we've helped over 100,000 people around the world train their minds and live happier lives. So what's the deal with burnout? Well, the term was coined back in the 1970s by a German-American psychologist called Herbert Freudenberger, and he described it as a state of physical and mental exhaustion caused by one's professional life. It's not an exact science, but psychologists agree the problem manifests in three main areas. Exhaustion. We all know that feeling. Alienation. This is where cynicism starts to take hold. You no longer feel aligned with your work or your colleagues. You don't identify with the cause. You feel alone. You're starting to think things like, what's the point? Why bother? Reduced performance. Perhaps inevitable given the exhaustion and the alienation. You can feel your standards starting to slip. You know that you're not giving your all. You're capable of much better, but you don't have the energy or the desire to pull it out the back. Your work is suffering. So what causes us to feel like this? One of the main factors that causes burnout is simple. You're just not allowing your brain time to recover and recuperate. Imagine your mind's like your laptop. What happens if you never restart it? You just leave it running all the time. Reduced performance. It's the same thing with your mind. You need to factor in breaks. We have some great free routines and exercises in the app for that. But it's not just how we approach our work and our inability to separate work and free time that's the problem. The work itself has become harder and harder of late. Progress and development, new forms of communication, new models of production, consolidation of workflow, cutbacks, streamlining, everything in our work life seems to be moving in the same direction. We're expected to deliver more every year in less time with fewer resources. And everybody knows that you can't stretch everything in every direction without something breaking. In their book on burnout, Dr. Michael P. Leitner and Dr. Christina Maslach said that burnout was made more likely by these six factors in your work life. Values conflict, when your work doesn't align with your core values. Lack of control, we need to feel like we can make decisions on our own and that our work has impact. Low pay, Feeling undervalued and taken for granted can quickly lead to apathy and disillusionment with our work. Workload. Too much work, unrealistic deadlines, work that's too difficult. It all gets too much. Unfairness. Now this is a big one. We're prepared to work hard as long as we feel it's a fair fight. But when the scales are tipped against us, we're far more likely to throw in the towel. Breakdown of community. We're social animals. We need to feel like our colleagues have our back, or at least they're not actively conspiring against us. A workforce without unity and trust weakens our resolve and makes us feel vulnerable. We all feel exhausted and a bit down from time to time, especially during periods of high stress. But if you look at your work life and find it ticks quite a few of these boxes, you find like you're dragging yourself out of bed every day, your work's suffering, you're starting to feel like none of it really matters, you could well be on your way to burnout. Now remember, you're not alone. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of courage. Reach out to someone at work or seek professional help from your doctor. And check out the free burnout-busting exercises in the MindShine app today.